Uh, he meets all the requirements uh, for this uh, parking sticker or for the, uh, for the parking space. So I'd like to get a motion uh, to approve that. I'll so move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We had a public safety committee meeting. Penny and myself met with uh, the chief before this meeting. Um, he just filled us in on a few ongoing things going on in the police department. And I'd like to say that the chief's been very active in a couple of, of uh, community-oriented things that people may not know. He's there's a program that's um, a pilot program that Judge Karen Thomas has instituted, gotten funding for, and it's for um, juvenile offenders, and it's a really promising program. So he's really active in that, and I appreciate his work on that because anything we can do to help our kids in town, it's needed, as well as another program that's ongoing at the high school from another uh, grant program that... Um, it is more or less on character building with kids and that that he's also involved in. Good. So I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, public works around? I don't have anything other than what I put the light down there with Mr. Maxwell. It's interesting. So, Professor Rolstad, Robert Burns? I just have a, one thing. Um, as Michael said, the Easter Eight Hunt, Hunt is April 19th. The pet fair and the car show that they always have, which is an outstanding job they do, is April 26th. So put it on your calendar. And opening day for baseball is May 3rd. Okay. Well, pretty Nothing at this time. Thank you. Nothing at this time. Anyone on any council, any petitions? I've got a couple questions. I just I want to make a comment. Um, I had a couple citizens call me about the trash pickup one day late. I think it was last week. They didn't pick it up through a day late. Um, whoever's in on that negotiation, I, I think we're just getting poor service. I, 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 I'm telling you, CSI hasn't done us any justice. That's a hard job. I know that, but you know we're not getting what we pay for. The other question goes to Jack. Um, Jack, if you can find out for me, the property off A Street on Barry between 8th and 7th, there's a little alley adjacent to uh, the railroad. Is that an alley? Is the city owned that or what? If you can check that out for me. Behind the point laundry? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Uh, on Barry Street between 8th and 7th. Where we turn the bend. Yeah, I remember where the depot used to be. Right. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's right. the city. It's a city street. It is. A, well, it's a street. Now, the other part is owned by the, the, the railroad, and we get paid to cut it and stuff. But that street, that's a street, right? It, well, it's an alley. That's an alley. But it is a city owned. Yes. Okay. That's, thank you. I appreciate it. I just don't remember, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kenny. I have something under correspondence that I just got, forgot to read. The Dayton Youth Baseball League will have player sign-ups beginning this Saturday, March 8th, and on Saturday, March 15th at the Town Center at 6th and Barry from 10 till 3. The first 50 boys and the first 50 girls to pay their $20 league fee, which includes their team shirt, cap, and pants with colored socks, at cost, will, re will receive a free fan t-shirt with a pay contract. For more information, call 431-5286. It'll be at the town center. Okay. Can you put that on the vote on the electronic board? Yes. At this time, would anybody in the audience like to address council? Yes, ma'am. You might go into the podium. And by the way, you've done an outstanding job with the Thorpe Museum. 
Well, that's exactly why I'm here. Um, I'm Tina Nyer, and I'm on the committee with the South Dayton Heritage Museum. And we have been going through a number of things that Charlie Tharp left to the museum and to the city of Dayton. And there are a number of whiskey decanters and other things, some artwork that uh, Charlie doesn't want any longer. Uh, and we have an idea that possibly we would like to do either a silent auction and a benefit for the museum, or we have maybe put them on eBay to sell them. And we'd like to get council's approval on that. I don't, the thing about Liz is that Charlie doesn't care about it. Why not have a silent option and benefit the city of Dayton? Right. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Museum. Museum. Go back to the museum. We would hope that we'd go back to the museum so that we could use it for archival purposes Whatever. and also for right. our educational purposes with the schools. Yeah. That's a great, great idea. Do we have to declare any of that as surplus, Jack? Yes. Can you get me a list of all of them? Sure, I can do that. But if it was Charlie's, why is it surplus even all the oh, okay. 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 Have you heard anything about Charlie recently? Charlie was down in the museum two weeks ago when we uh, had uh, a day uh, that we were open. We're going to be open. Uh, we're open on the second and fourth Saturday of every month from uh, 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So come on down and check it out. Is it possible, because I asked this question last month, <laughs> is it possible you could set up a website I have a sister who lives in California, and I have a niece who lives in Colorado, and I'd love to tell them they could go on the website and, and so they could see this. There is a website. Okay, can it's, you give me the information? Sure. Uh, do, do you want it now? It's, I'll get it after me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your efforts. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm Catherine Hamilton Hicks. I'm really thrilled that Bobby brought up the issue um, with the traffic light um, and the, the, the likelihood of there being an accident someday. I just wanted to suggest the intersection of, of Vine Street and 6th to be an appropriate spot for a light. Um, there is a very active daycare on that road on Vine Street. Um, there's a yellow school bus that pulls up there every day. And I think also that Vine Street is the main artery where the kids walk on Friday nights to the football games. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there are a lot of people that would really benefit from the safety of having a light there. I've always thought with the, the light at Urban Street, there's never any traffic there. So maybe that would be a surplus light to move. That's just my suggestion. That's there's right. a lot of traffic on Urban, yeah. Is there? Okay. A lot. Okay. Yes. So maybe it's just but it is still light. goofy. Yeah. You've yeah. got to sit there even... You can't see the plate in the snow. You're not. You're not going anywhere. Well, you just make that two way. You mean going down over yeah, the? Yeah. Go either way. Yeah. I, I, I think it. Uh, oh, it's it's, it's right. as skinny as every other street. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Maybe we can get the state to move that light to with the ladies for the bus stop. We're gonna look into it. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna look into it. We don't need another. No, 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 no. He's right. He's still the Yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to fill you in on a few things. First and foremost, I wanted to say thank you very much to Mayor Winkle and Officer O'Brien and Rick Lucas for coming and saving me. <laughs> the last uh, a couple weeks ago, um, we had a little flooding uh, issue when all the snow was melting. We were back to us and. Um, I called up Chief O'Brien and I was just amazing. So we all came out and um, dug a little trench for the, the snow as it was melting to go into. And since then, we had our YMCA maintenance guy come fix the doors, um, weatherproof them, and we had a cleaning, uh, carpet cleaning company to come out and clean the carpet. So everything is dry and the carpet's look better than ever. <laughs> so when, the, when the shovel came out, that's what Chief O'Brien had to do. I wasn't, wasn't going to say that. But um, yeah, so thank you very much for that. Um, uh, and the other thing I wanted to let you know, we are going to be starting up a new program. It's a creative writing program. Um, there's a substitute teacher that comes in to the high school, and he is actually a college professor, I think at NKU. But 
and could be wrong on that one, and does English and literacy and all those, but he's very connected into theater programs as well. And he is going to be starting this up. We're going to get um, high school drama going, but also creative writing, possibly their own newspaper, and um, students will be able to you know, write stories and present them and um, poetry and all sorts of things. So I think it's just tapping into something that um, hasn't been done in a while. Uh, so we're really excited. We've already got students really, really thrilled. And we're really hoping for next school year to uh, get some West Side Story uh, put out there. We've had a lot of high school students that have actually wanted to do that, and I was shocked. I was, wow. I'm a big drama fan myself, so I'm hoping to get that going. Uh, another thing, um, uh, kind of along those lines, we're looking into building a small stage uh, at the, the Y to, for open mic nights. Um, kids to come in and if they, you know, play an instrument or want to read poetry or sing or whatever, we have that. And in addition to that actual stage, the guy coming in is actually going to teach um, high schoolers that are interested how to build um, some things. So just kind of playing along those lines. So that's really exciting. Uh, this well, March 8th, um, it's going to be the first robotics tournament for the middle and high school students. They're going to be competing. Mrs. Lisa Cleet is uh, heading that up as their coach. And I believe it's the school out in Alexandria um, where the competition is going to be. So um, they're really excited. We have, I think there's at least four teams um, that they have a, a, a task when they're building their robots to go for it. So they're excited. And then 859 Academy, who is run by um, Matthew Gross, and Nick Dill, along with several others, um, but both born and raised in, in Dayton, they are having an award ceremony for all of their um, students that are participating in their jujitsu um, classes. So really excited about that. <coughs> that uh, kind of last thing. Um, my first, I started here in June 2011, so it's about two and a half years, and my first month working here, um, I, uh, a, a girl helped me, um, she was 14 years old at the time, she was helping me take some inventory of what was there at the Y. And so I wrote her a thank you note and just said, thank you so much for helping me with this and you're awesome and I really appreciate it. And she had told me, um, that when she was looking over the note, she looked really puzzled and I asked her, you know, what's wrong, have you never received a thank you note before? And she said, no, it's not that, it's just no one's ever called me awesome before. Yeah. And when, from that day, I realized how important um, the work that we all do and how important our words are, words of encouragement. Um, and, and so I, from that, you know, very first month working there, I've tried to make it a point to always, you know, just the little things, um, say words of encouragement. But coming full circle, I can't say enough how supportive I've felt from the community and all the words of encouragement that they've given me on days when I feel like I'm not doing anything right and just so many community members are telling me, you know, oh, you're doing such a great job. And it really came full circle when I had a parent um, comment on Facebook. I promise I'm almost done. Um, but this was one of the, one of the few times I've, I've had a parent make a direct comment to me about the work that we're doing and I just you know, I'm not an emotional person. And I got, I was so touched that, that she wrote this, and I'm not going to share everything, but just said she wanted to, to thank us um, and all the other staff at the Dayton YMCA. We recently moved, but lived in Dayton for seven years. And one of the things my children will miss the most is the why and all the activities from homework, health, kickboxing, church, swimming, um, and the personal attention. Uh, she said, most of all, though, the, the young kids, they're learning self-respect and gaining self-esteem. And it's just, I'm, you know, it's nice to, to hear that. And I'm so glad that, that things are getting better and better. And it's not one person, not five people can do it. It's everybody working together. So I want to um, uh, just thank you all so much. And especially with your, your support, not only that way, but financial contributions as well. And this is a long time coming. But this has been hanging up at our Campbell County uh, Fort Thomas YMCA in the swimming pool area. And I wish I could have taken pictures with actual kids from Dayton, but we're not allowed to do that for branding purposes. Sorry. So, um, and it's, sorry, I had to fold it up. But um, this has been uh, hanging up. We can still leave it hanging up there, or if we want to hang it up somewhere in the city, we'd be happy to do that. 
Um, but this is a very, very small way that I just wanted to say thank you for all of your support. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. You know, it would be kind of nice if it stayed hanging up in Fort Thomas so that maybe some other cities would pitch in because, you know, how Dayton River <laughs> Rats and everything else, but we care about our people, we care about our community. I, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. River Rats. Well, I'd like to address council. Hello, Mr. Perry. You don't have to call me, mister. My hair's sticking out. I'm going to push you out there, but remember now, Friday is a reality store. Cafeteria opens at 8. I'm there breakfast. The program starts at 9. And I hope to be out there by 12. Now, there's a lot of people here that have stations at the reality store. I see some in council chamber, some here, that's, uh, that's got stations there. Yeah, I know you do. But anyway, uh, the top number I'd like for anybody on the council that doesn't have a station to come and do a cameo appearance. I mean, the kids love to see people from the city there. You know, oh, man, there's Mr. So-and-so from the council. And I think, you know, that means a lot. So if you come make a cameo appearance and get a donut, <laughs> And uh, so we're trying to make it if you can. And at this meeting, there will be an announcement of the, uh, about Career Day. That's going to be a different program there for careers. And the kids have written down 10 different things that they'd like to have a representative there for a Career Day, carpenter, plumber, electrician, or whatever. So that will be announced uh, Friday morning. 8 o'clock, cameo appearance, guys. You know, who's got a station? Be there. Reality store. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You remember, I got up there last month and closed out the problem I had next door. Nothing's been done. We'll follow up on it, and I apologize to you. But we talked about it. We talked about the following day. I, I gave the message to Terry, Animal Control, about the, you know, the mess that was in the yard next to you, it's, and the pit bull, so I did talk to uh, Terry. We'll follow up on it. I talked, I, apologize to you. I talked to Terry personally, yeah. and and I gave her the address, and even gave her this lady's uh, address. So I had Bill come down and walk through. It's bad. And it did get. We had one warm day, and all the snow was awful. It was really awful. Diane, I think you need to go down there too. We'll give you the information tomorrow. We'll send Diane to follow up on that also. also. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. So it'll be on camera. The uh, website for the museum is ThorpeDaytonHeritageMuseum.com. And I'll see if you get this to you. Thank you. But, uh, okay. right. you got to come see the museum. It's neat. You can also access it through the city page. Yeah. Then we can put that in the community newspaper. All right. Does anyone else like to judge council for anything? Uh, Councilman Burns test, uh, touched on this earlier on the CSI Republic trash collection. When is that contract up for renewal? It's up June of 2014. Two, yeah. So it's up this year? Yes. Is there any consideration of uh, wrapping and recycling with the CSI contract this time around? I know mean, we tried to do an initiative last, uh, last minute last year with uh, Earth Day and everything to get more people to recycle in town. I'd like to see that included with the negotiations if possible. We can get that. We're waiting for I appreciate that. And secondly, on the city administrator, it's great that we had 25 people applying for it. And I know some of the council members and community leaders have been involved in the screening so far to get it down to six. Um, I'm hoping that there are credit reports done on all six people. Uh, whoever sits in that seat handles a $3.8 million budget. And we've seen what can happen if it's mismanaged. Credit report doesn't show you how much money you have. It shows you how well you've handled it, and it's our money. Mm -hmm. So for about 40 bucks, um, I'll chip in on it if we could do a credit report on all six candidates before it's narrowed down to two. Well, we're not going to do any type of background check until we get down to the final two. As long as the final two have a full credit check, I appreciate it. Well, if you want to go ahead and write our check after eight bucks, I'll do it. I'll do it. Thank you. Anyone else like to address council? Yes, sir. I'll go to the mic. Thank you very much. Okay, I got, I got five minutes. Okay. All right, we've got a new table. My name is Dan Hayes. Uh, I was wondering if you have any information on the Manhattan Harbor Marina, its status or its future. 
Well, and I was just going to address that, and I'll try to do it in five minutes. Right now, we're in the possibility of evict. We are in the process. We have sent them. Let me start over. We have given WDG a letter telling them to please evict the, the um, premises. premises. They, 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 um, they said they want to do that, but they're not being real quick about it. So we're kind of in limbo. But we have um, taken another group that we were interested in negotiating with. We haven't done anything with them really up to this point yet because WDG still has us in limbo. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. We're trying to maintain it, but it's a very costly thing to do. We're going to make sure that the electric stays on. We're going to make sure that the water stays on. We have a plumbing issue down there, and we're working on that also. Um, we're going to go into an executive session and talk about litigation that I can't share with you right now. Correct. Yeah. But um, we do have more people that are interested in taking it. They're very anxious to get down there. I've talked with the, that group several times. Um, we're just our hands are tied right now as far as trying to get one group out and the other group in. I understand. I, I might make a suggestion, if it's at all possible, we have a, uh, an organization at the arena called the Commodores Club. You may be familiar with it. Kevin's very active in it. Uh, if it's possible to send a representative down at one of those meetings just to keep people posted. Why don't you give us your next meeting date and, and, and we'll come down. Saturday. Is there a time? Uh, Saturday, uh, I think at 11 o'clock. I'll check my phone here. If you like that down, down and remind me about it. That would be terrific. We'll come down to drugs. go a long way to alleviate, alleviate a lot of fears. Cool. Right. As you might imagine, it's been a long time down there. <laughs> right. And, and I know that you have a, a water problem down there right now with the hot water. But so I wasn't aware. I haven't been in two weeks. So. Well, the people that are living down there are taking lukewarm showers. And <laughs> <laughs> We've invested $1,800 into it so far, and we're going to oh see my. if we can't get it fixed. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we're very interested in making sure that everybody stays comfortable and safe down there. Okay, I'll confirm that time before I leave. Okay, I'll let you know. Okay, thanks very much for the information. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, anybody else, maybe? Can we motion go to executive session for litigation? So moved. And sale of the property. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.